this tutorial we'll be covering how you can create such a city model like you see on the video this actual uh, group of building models are obtained from google earth or google map and i'll show you how you can create this city with the that are obtained with different tiles and i'll show you how you can keep the quality of your texture without compromising the resolution and you, uh, stitch all those tiles together in order to create such a city as you see on the video i'll be explaining the blender add-on that's going to be used for this purpose and i'll show you how you can manage to cover large area in your 3d uh, projects and also you can also use this uh, model for various application real world application and for various gaming and visualization purposes so let's get started get started uh, with the uh, different uh, google maps 3d tiles assembly first let's uh, remove everything i'll turn on the is okay so let's import the tiles uh, go to files import google maps capture dot rdc file so uh, we are importing these files I've prepared uh, some files for this okay so uh, it will take some time to load the dot rdc files so uh, whatever now we are importing is going to be stored in the this collection folder so let's go to the materials view and we have imported this okay so uh, this is the downtown area of uh, toronto and this is the saint tower and this uh, is imported from the google earth file uh, similarly you can also import it to from the google maps directly into blender like this so uh, this is made up of different tiles and these are the tiles so everything is in this folder so uh, if this is your first time uh, importing maybe uh, watching the how you can import the google maps 3d models i have made a couple of videos on this uh, one is how you can import such models from uh, google maps another one is how you can import these models from the google earth using uh, the blenders js blender uh, importer add-on and then the another software called the render doc so uh, refer to those videos uh, in case uh, you are not familiar with it and i'll put the link in the description section of those two tutorial videos but uh, for today what we are going to see is so this was imported using one uh, extraction so uh, some viewers were asking uh, if they want to create like a larger area how they can do that one way is you can uh, use the same method to import a larger area like this but the resolution will be uh, very very low so for that the best way is to import uh, those uh, files like this by partition and then uh, stitch those partitions together so and then create a very large uh, uh, ideal larger uh, city so uh, to do this uh, we'll see how we can do this uh, now so this is the first one for for the second take i will create another collection here right click new collection and make sure your cursor you select collection 2 and go back to file import and google maps the render doc file 
now we will import our second file and it will take some time also and our second file is uh, imported okay let me uh, move it to the side so that you can uh, see it visually okay so uh, when you do uh, such stitching of um, uh, different tiles together make sure that at least one one of those tiles uh, they have an in, as an intersection uh, with uh, one tile so uh, in this case uh, i know the buildings uh, they have uh, they these two groups share the same buildings like for instance this one and this one are the same so at least they have one intersection so the joining process can be uh, done for this so uh, the joining process will be done using an add-on a blender add-on i'll show you shortly before that uh, i will add a couple of more tiles that we can use to join it so uh, go back here and create more uh, collections select collection 3 and import the another tile okay our uh, third tile is imported I'll move it to the side. Okay, let's see what we have imported. So, uh, generally, uh, this area is going to be uh, the, the extension of this part and these two. Uh, tiles they have uh, similar uh, tiles around here they share the common uh, group of buildings all right i'll add another one also maybe i'll add one more and similarly I will import another files okay. so make sure before you join uh, those tiles make sure they are in different uh, locations collections otherwise it will be difficult to know uh, which ones you are uh, joining and you may end up with uh, duplicate buildings okay okay this one will be on this side so this will be the extension of uh, this part and I'll add one more uh, here so select the new collection and imports so like i said you may try to import with one uh, step this whole area but uh, your resolution will suffer so the best way is to import it like this and then finally put it putting it all together using the add-on that I will show you shortly ok 
okay let me select this and move it aside also okay now this area will be the extension of around here okay so the idea is to expand this area the coverage and achieve a larger uh, city scale uh, big bigger area all right so now we have five collections let me minimize this so uh, we are uh, joining these five collections into one single uh, area all right so the first step is uh, let's check the add-on object yeah you are using this one so uh, go to edit preferences add-ons and search for the lily capture merger so make sure that this is checked so in case uh yeah probably you won't have this add-on on your uh, pc so i'll put the link in the description section of this add-on so this add-on that we are going to use to join this so now let's select uh, okay i want to join uh, this uh, this group of buildings with this one so first I'll select any tile from this one this group and then press shift and select any tile from this uh, group so make sure uh, so I'm I'm going to be joining all these four tiles to this tile so make sure always uh, to select this part uh, last so that they can these tiles can join to this instead of uh, the other way around so let's go to object now the lily capture merger add-on is active so click on it and now the joining process has been performed if you look uh, down here lily capture merger the remove duplicates is checked so make sure this is checked otherwise you'll end up with uh, duplicate buildings so this uh, too much redundancy and the file size will be big and uh, that that won't that won't be useful so so now we have joined these two now if you look close, closely we have uh, extended uh, this area to this size now we have a larger area so uh, I could have attempted to uh, import all this area by one uh, by one try, but uh, the resolution will suffer. But now, with better resolution, I can import with uh, I can do this with two different tiles. Okay, so let's uh, continue now. Now let's join this part. Uh, Okay, maybe I'll proceed to this one. Select any tile from this group and shift click. Actually, so you'll be doing your your own uh, uh, city. So you just have to, uh, you, you don't need to exactly copy this data, but you can uh, use the process. So shift select this and then object, then lily capture. Now uh, you noticed that uh, this area now is extended and now our coverage is increasing. So we have added two uh, tiles and already our city is, look, uh, is quite large by surface area. All right, so let's keep moving. So here also you can notice this group of buildings and these are the same meaning when they join the duplicates will be removed. So let's select one tile from here, one from here and let's merge them. Okay, so the duplicates are removed and 
our city is now uh, even bigger all right so we have one more to go select this one and shift select any tile object merge all right so uh, we have managed to join all these tiles together so the lily capture merger is a is a blender add-on that you can find uh, i'll put the link in the description section uh, the and also don't forget to give credit to Eli Michel the author of the add-on so give him some credit and for currently it's a paid version but you can uh, also ask the author if uh, in case uh, you you are like uh, using it for some uh, just minor project or something uh, just make your case with him and you may uh, get it for uh, free but it's always advisable in this case to support the author also so uh, mine is I bought this uh, add-on because it's uh, very important and once you purchase it it's for a lifetime so you don't need uh, to upgrade or anything all right so uh, this is all now now as you can see we are able to obtain a very large uh, portion of the downtown area of the toronto and uh, yeah and we have managed also to get some good quality as you can see good quality textures and uh, buildings okay so that that will be all uh, for today if you have any questions or comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below and uh, yeah so i'll see you uh, next time with another video if uh, this if you find this tip helpful please make sure to like and subscribe the channel uh, and i'll see you next time with another uh, blender tutorial until then take care bye